Good news everybody, we finally have a new open source AI image generation model that's able to beat Flux. The model I'm talking about today is called Hydream and if we take a look at this leaderboard over here, we can see that Hydream is currently sitting at the fourth spot just below GPT-40, Seadream 3 and Recraft V3. So if we take a look at some of the other models on this list, we can tell that they are mostly closed source models aside from stable diffusion over here. The only other open source model that we have is Flux 1 Dev, which has an Arena ELO score of 1045. Meanwhile, Hydream has a score of 1111, which is quite better. So real quick, I'm gonna show you how to download and install this model. I'm gonna show you which files you need to download, where you need to put them, and how to run this model locally using ComfyUI. So if you click on the first link in the description, it will bring you to this page, which will tell you everything you need to know in order to run this model locally. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and download these four different files. You can find them all here. So all you have to do is go ahead and download all of these files and put them in your comfy models and text encoders directory. So if we go over here, let's say that we want to download the first file, just click over here, go into your Comfy UI folder, models, and text encoders. I have already downloaded these files, so I'm not gonna download them again, but all you have to do is go ahead and click on save. So after you downloaded all of these four files, the next thing you need to do is go ahead and download the VAE. If you used Flux before, you don't need to do this anymore because you might already have the VAE downloaded. Next thing you need to do is go ahead and download the models. So over here we have the dev, fast and full versions of Hydream. We have the BF16 and FP8 versions. If you have a lot of VRAM, so 32 gigabytes of VRAM or above, then you should download the BF16 versions. But if you have less VRAM, something like 16 gigabytes of VRAM, then you can go ahead and download the FP8 versions of each of these models. So just go ahead and click on this. Go again into your Comfy UI directory and then models and diffusion models and go ahead and click on save. So after you downloaded your models, go ahead and open Comfy UI, click on manager and make sure you click on update all. I already did that, so I don't need to do it again. After that, go back to this page and click on this picture, drag it into your Comfy UI workplace and drop it. And this will load the Hydream workflow. So over here, make sure that you have your Hydream model selected, leave everything else by default and go ahead and write your prompt. Over here, we can see a few instructions on how to use the different Hydream models. Now, for the people who don't have a GPU with a lot of VRAM, so below 16 gigabytes of VRAM all the way down to 8 gigabytes, I'm gonna show you how to download the GGUF models for Hydream and how to run them. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and click on Manager, Custom Nodes Manager, and over here, search for GGUF. Make sure you install this GGUF custom node. And after that, go ahead and restart ComfyUI. After you downloaded the custom node, go ahead and click on the other link in the description and this will bring you to Hugging Face. And over here, we can scroll down until we find the Hydream GGUF models. So we have full, dev and fast. For this one, I'm gonna show you how to download the Hydream full model. Go ahead and click files and versions. And over here, we can see all the different versions of Hydream full GGUF ranging from Q2 all the way up to Q8. Now, if you have a very low amount of VRAM, so something like eight gigabytes or so, then you can go ahead and download the Q2 version. But if you have more VRAM at your disposal, you can go ahead and pick one of the other versions from Q3 all the way up to Q8. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this one right over here. And once again, save it in your diffusion models folder. Now we can go back into Comfy UI and I'm gonna go ahead and drag the full workflow over here. Now you can go ahead and get rid of this load diffusion model node. And instead we're gonna search for a GGUF node. So you have the unit loader over here, click on it. Let's drag it over here, connect it to the model. As you can see, I downloaded all the three different models, the dev, fast and full version, and we're gonna test them one by one. So let's start with the Hydream full version. 
Over here, you can go ahead and type your prompt. So I'm gonna ask you to generate a realistic oil painting of Donald Trump shaking hands with Goku. And let's take a look at these settings over here. So we are using high dream full. So for this, we should use a shift of 3.0 and we already have this one selected. Make sure that we are using 50 steps for this one. So I'm gonna change this value over here to 50. For sampler, we are going to use uni PC. So let's go ahead and search for uni PC over here. And for CFG, we're gonna use a CFG of five and we already have this selected. I'm gonna leave the resolution at the same and let's add some text over here in the negative prompt. And let's go ahead and click on Q prompt. Note that it will take quite a lot of time to generate these images. So here is our first generation. It looks okay-ish. I mean, it doesn't really look that much like an oil painting, but at least we have Donald Trump and Goku over here and the details seem pretty fine. If you take a look at the hands, they look pretty good. But let's go ahead and do the exact same prompt, but this time using the High Dream Dev version. So I'm just gonna switch the version over here to Dev. And now let's take a look at the instructions. For this, we're gonna use a shift of six. 28 steps so let me just change this real quick and for sampler we are going to use ICM and let's lower the CFG to 1. Aside from that I'm gonna leave everything else exactly the same so let's go ahead and click on Q prompt and here is the result I think I like this version better I don't know for some reason it just looks a bit better in my opinion and if we take a look at the hands, they look good, everything looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and try the fast version. And for fast, we're gonna use a shift of 3, 16 steps, and we're gonna leave everything else by default. So let's go ahead and click on Q prompt. And here is the result of the fast generation. It looks pretty good, but for some reason, I think I prefer the dev version more. So let's go ahead and try out a different prompt. So here is our new prompt, a pirate crew taking a selfie on the ship with a treasure island in the background. And keep in mind, we are still using the fast version. I'm gonna leave everything else the same and let's go ahead and click on Q prompt. And here is the result. As you can see, it followed the prompt pretty well. But let's go ahead and switch to the dev model and let's go ahead and write a different prompt. So I wrote the prompt, a king riding a kangaroo into battle while in the background we can see an airplane writing what a day on the sky using white smoke trails. So this is quite a weird prompt, including text. So this is to test how well is this model going to follow our prompt. This looks quite interesting. So over here we have a king riding a kangaroo while he is holding a spear and in the background we can also see some other characters also riding kangaroos meanwhile we have an airplane over here in the sky and it says what a day using the white smoke trails now the airplane itself isn't really drawing them but we can assume that it drew them so overall it followed the prompt pretty well but now let's try something a bit trickier so I asked ChatGPT to write me this complex prompt including many different cartoon characters such as Homer Simpson, Scooby-Doo, Spongebob, Patrick, Shaggy and all these other cartoon characters. So let's go ahead and see how good is it at recreating this very complex scene. And here is the result, it looks pretty interesting. So if we look over here we have Homer Simpson, Rick Sanchez, Spongebob and a very weird mixture of other characters. For example we have Scooby-Doo mixed with Pikachu over here. Overall it looks like a pretty interesting image. But now let's go ahead and try something else. I'm gonna go ahead and switch from the dev model to the full model. And for prompt I'm gonna use a prompt that's focused more on text. So here is the prompt, a notebook page that has the text impossible is a word to be found only in the dictionary of fools, Napoleon, written in blue ink. So we're gonna go ahead and see if this model is capable of generating long text and for this example we are going to use a quote by Napoleon. So let's go ahead and change the settings over here real quick and let's go ahead and click on generate. So it says impossible is a to be owned only only in the dictionary of Napoleon. So as you can see, it's not looking very great. 
First of all, the text itself doesn't look all that great and it also has a bunch of missing words and some spelling mistakes. So let's go ahead and try the same prompt but this time using the dev version. This one looks a lot better. So it does say impossible is a word to be found only in the dictionary of fools by Napoleon. So this time it got the text right and the overall image does look better. So at least in my opinion, the dev model does look a bit better than the full model. So lastly, let's go ahead and try out a different prompt. So the prompt is a realistic cinematic portrait of a beautiful blonde girl with sunglasses in the backseat of a sports car. So let's go ahead and leave all the settings the same and click on Q prompt. Here is the result. It looks pretty good. The only complaint is that she is not really in the backseat of the car, but rather in the driver's seat. But aside from that, it all looks pretty good. That was it. I hope you found this video helpful. As usual, I'm going to leave every single link in the description and see you in the next one.